In this video, I am co-hosting a collaboration. So if you're interested in finding out more, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello everyone, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me. This is your first time visiting my channel. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, I wanna thank you for your continuing support. Now let's jump into this video. Hi, I am doing a tutorial today on how to add sound to your videos. Now, I was asked to show how to ask how to add music from epidemic sound to your YouTube videos. Now here I have a membership to epidemic sound and I'm going to choose a song to download which will be this one. I like that song so I'm going to download that one. You go down to the end where it has a download error and you download it. Now I'm going to download the full mix and then me I have a folder that I add mine to where is it Here. so once it's fully downloaded Okay, now I'm going to go to, I use Filmora to edit my videos. So here is, I have uh, my butterfly and my background that I use. And then I'm going to go to audio. And I'm going to go to my music. And then I'll go to import and to import that file I just downloaded where I will go back to the folder I stored it in. Okay, it should be the last one on the ring right now. Here it is here. So I'll take the music, I'll click on it, and I'll drag it to under the, underneath my uh, video that I'm using. On mine, it has a line here for, mo for a movie, and then here is a line for music, and also sound, like for voiceovers. So I just drag, click it, and drag it down below where my video is now to keep to edit it even more I go down to the end of my film and I cut it because it's too long and put that in the trash now here where the music is sometimes the music when you download it is too loud so let me play it Computer. So you click on it twice, you click on the music twice, and you see where the level is. Up here, mine is on the level um, zero. I always try to keep it down to negative 12 or negative 18. This way, when you play it and people turn on your video, the music is not blasting and they can't understand what you're saying because the music is so loud. So always try to monitor the sound level of the music. You don't want people to jump when they hear your music come on on your intros or in your videos. Because a lot of people's intros are too loud. When you play them, they make you jump because they blast out so loud. So always keep an eye on that. Always, always double check your sound before you release your video because believe me a lot of people will turn your videos off if the sound is too loud and they won't watch it 
It is very easy to do to add your sound to your videos using Epidemic. Now, next what I'll do is I'm going to export it where it will be converted to an MP3 to upload to YouTube. Now, if you have any questions at all, any concerns uh, about uploading or downloading the music from uh, Epidemic to your YouTube videos, leave me any questions down below. I am not a professional in any means, but I do understand a bit of how to do it. So if you have any questions, any concerns, just ask me down below and I will answer you to the best of my ability. Now, again, I do use Filmora. And I did use YouTube at once before they changed it up. But I think predominantly now the way they have it, it is the same way I do for Filmora. Now the title of this collaboration is Adding Music to Videos Using Epidemic Sound. And it is hosted by the Mastermind Influencer Team. Our founder is Lady Phoenix of Really Good Living. And her co-hosts are... Ditsy at Ditsy Dis, Penny at Penny's Place, myself, Stephanie at Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie, Sandy at Grandma Sandy, and Ian at Renner's Live Luxury. Now, if you're not familiar with any of these ladies' channels, I will have a link to their channels along with the playlist down below in the description. And don't forget to click the playlist down below and watch the other participants. I'm sure you'll learn a whole lot from everyone. And if you like my content, don't forget to click that red subscribe button you see down below and give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified each time I upload something new. And as always, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me saying you be blessed.